Hello guys, welcome to Hunter's Outdoor Adventures. This is the first video I'm making for my YouTube channel. And the second one will be about me going fishing and stuff, so yeah. Here's the first tackle box to start out with this one. The first one we're going to start out with is the Storm Magwort. This one will go about 14 to 24 feet. And I like the color it has on it and those red eyes on it too. And here's a, a Striking XD crank, Deep Crankbait. This one will go about 15 feet. And yeah. And here's a Rapala crankbait. This one go about 16 feet. And I like that bluegill color it has on it. It almost looks kind of real when you put it in the water. And here's a, a Berkeley dredger, the smallest one they make. This one's a 10.5. This one go about 11 feet. And it has the, I have the red dad, crawdad color and the red eyes too. I like those red eyes on it. And here's a Strike King crankbait. Another one that I have. This one goes about 15 feet as well. Let's move on to the next one. Or not. And here's a Rebel Big Craw. I like this one because it's it's bigger and this one can go about 10 feet. And it still has this design where you can put your hooks on it. To where it won't hook anything. So yeah. And here's a Strike King Deep Square Wheel Crankbait. I got this one off at Amazon because I couldn't find it anywhere. In any stores like Dick's Sporting Goods or Walmart. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, this one go about 11 feet. And, yeah. And here's two Bandit 300s. This one has the neon green color and the red reddish color and black stripes, too. I like how it looks in the water, too. It's got that two colors. Bass would love that. Okay, and here's the jerk baits that we're going to now. <clears throat> I got these from Amazon because I wanted to try them and they looked really good and the colors on them too. And here's some more. And I got an Ozark Trail one right down there. But yeah, even if it's from the Ozark Trail, all I just care about is mostly them catching a fish or not. So yeah. And here's some same ones from it. But here's a Rapala original floater. I like these because they, cause they catch a lot of bass for me. Because I used this at Lake, Cum Lake Cumberland once and I caught a lot of bass from it. So yeah. Done with that one, tap tackle box. That one to the side. And here's my second tackle box that I'm not finished yet, doing all my lipless crankbaits. Here's the one to start out with. Here's a Strike King Red Eye Shad lipless crankbait. And yeah, I like that color on it too. And here's a pretty cool one. It's from Livingstone and it's called Pearl Ripper. Hold on a second. Okay, here it is. And usually when you put water in the back of it, it makes like this cricket noise almost, like you can hear it. Oh, well, let me try. Looks like it won't do it now, but usually when it doesn't water, it will do it. And here's another striking red eye shad <clears throat> that I also got. I like this color too. It almost looks like purple, even though it's not. It's like a dark blue, red eyes color. And it's got a brown in the back of it. And here's a Concordell Lipless Crankbait. These are probably my favorite. I've always caught fish off of them ever since I was little, and yeah. And here's an Amazon Lipless Crankbait. I, I just got it for the heck of it to see to try it out. And I haven't used it yet, so yeah. And here's two more Connor Cordell Lipless Crankbaits. And here's two more Connor Cordell Lipless Crankbaits. I like this crawdad color that has it on this one. And I got this real big Bill Lewis Raw Trap. 
Now, these are my favorite two also. And striking is, but I haven't really used these. I've used these more, but not those. So, yeah. Going on to my second tackle box. No, not my second, my third tackle box. Here's my crankbaits, my medium running crankbaits. I keep my deep running crankbaits in here and my medium running crankbaits in here. These go before below 10 feet. And yeah, here's a, a Bill Dance Fat Feet Guppy that I got. I don't know if you can still get these though, but yeah, Bill Dance. And here's some, or here's a Con Cordell Deep CC Shad. Now, these are one of my favorite crankbaits that I use for panfish. Because I had a smaller one, but I lost it once. So, yeah. And here's a Storm Oroshi Silent Crankbait square bill. And this one go about three feet or more. And it's got, like, this green color to it and blue on top and this black dot. And, yeah. Oh, and also the good thing about it is that it has a self-tuning to where when you make a knot to it and when it goes, it can go along with your knot so yeah and here's a bandit 100 that i got this one has a smaller bill on it like these bandit 300s right here this one's the bandit 100 oh got stuck on there has a smaller bill on it and here's a crankbait i got it's like a node crawl dead Crankbait lure. I got this from my uncle, but he sadly passed away, and I mostly got all his fish and stuff. But yeah. And here's a. Oh, I don't know what this is. This is probably like an off brand lure that I got. I got this for $5 when I got like a Strike King crankbait for like 4 And yeah. And here's a a Berkeley Wake Bull that I got too. I don't like this color. I mean, I kind of do, but I would ever, I'd rather have a different color. And yeah. And here's a Guggen Squad Flat Banger. Has a square bill on it. And this one go about three to six feet. And I like, and I like white crankbaits because my dad usually says their bass like them better than usually other color crankbaits. And the different thing about these is that the triple hooks on them. They're kind of more out, more bigger than smaller crankbaits. Smaller triple hook crankbaits are. So, yeah. And here's all my, right here are my three Rapala DT series crankbaits that I got. Now, this one's a pretty cool one that I got. And here's another one. This one's a crawdad color that I got. And here's one that looks the same as this one, but this one's blue and white and black. And going on to my top bar bits right here. Now, I'm just going to say these real quick. This one's a head-on torpedo. This one's a rebel popper. This one's a rebel popping frog. That one down there is an Ozark trail popper. Just for the heck of it, I bought it. Here's an Abergas 2.0 Jerbug. And here's a Berkeley Spin Rocket right there. See it? Yeah. And here's all my plastics, kind of. Buzzbait slash uh, jigs, realist jigs. And like, here's a buzzbait with a trailer hook on it. I like this one. It's got like a purple, orange, green, light green, dark green color on it. And yeah. And here's a, a little jig from Lucky Strike. I like this color to it, too. Because it's good for winter fishing. And I call a lot of bass on these in the winter time. Here's another one. That I got from Lucky Strike. I have two of them. Or I think. No I got three of them. And I got this. Yozuri. Knuckle bait. This one kind of looks weird. I don't really know if it will do good or anything. So yeah. But here's here's another one of those lucky strikes. I did have three actually. 
This one's about, oh, I think a half O's or one fourth O's. Yeah. But here's my, here's my best, bestest weedless jig I ever use. It's my striking Pro Mod jig that I always use and always love it. In the winter time, I catch a lot of big bass on these, and yeah, and these are the things that come with it, with like rage crawls and stuff, and yeah. I feel close. Hold on a second. Okay, that's all crankbaits I have, or not all my crankbaits, all the tackle boxes I have in here. I only got three, but here's some other ones. Now, these are just three River 2 Seed Lures. Down here is a River 2 Seed Lane Changer, and right here is a River 2 Seed Double Plopper, and down here is a River 2 Seed Larry Danberg Series Whopper Plopper, and that's the smallest one they make. But the Walker Plopper 90 is a little bit smaller, or smaller, so I think they should make that into the Walker Plopper 75 and make that one, and make the one I got into a Walker Plopper 90. And here's the other side of it. Now these I'm probably going to use for springtime at the Ohio River for striped bass, or hybrid stripes. Here's a Strike King Sexy Dog Junior. It's got that 60 shad color to it. And here's some Berkeley Cane Walkers. I like how the color is on them. And here's a Berkeley Hijacker right here. But the bad thing about the Berkeley Hijacker is that they don't have any feather hooks on them. And I think the feather hooks are better. So yeah. Here's the lower part of it. On the River 2 Seaside, I got my soft plastics right down here. I got net baits, I got Berkeley, I got Berkeley uh, wacky rigs, not wacky wigs, rigs. And here's a, an Amazon tackle box I got. I came with a fishing rod to it because I wanted to see how it would try out to see how Amazon is with them. And I bet those um, spoons would be good in these soft plastics, but I don't know why they give you a warm hook when they're almost like too big. Or any jig heads. They give you weird stuff when you're buying from Amazon. So, yeah. Here's my ugly stick tackle box that I got. And I have some pliers with it too. I got this for around $30. Which is really good. I think. For a really good budget. Fishing challenge stuff. There's something, but I don't know. Here's my crappie box, kind of. Crappie, trout, whatever box. Here's where I have my beetle spins at, and all my soft plastic crappie, curly tail grubs, tubes, swim baits. Yeah. Here's some jig heads I got, some Popeyes in there, too. And some spinners I got. And I got a lot of these for Christmas, too, because I like using spinners a lot, too. Put that one back there and on the side here i got pliers other things but this one i have bobbers i got some strike king super toads that i've used but i keep them in this package for the heck of it i don't know why i should take them up though and here's some pliers they're really good yeah and on this side i got some berkeley power bait I got some original scent of uh, crappy nibbles, and this one is. Mm, this one's kind of old. Crappy nibbles as well. And on this side, I got. It. I got some Kai Tech custom worms. I've used these down at Lake Cumberland for trout and bass and stripers as well. And yeah. 
And also what I got down there is a something for like when I do some bottom fishing. Put that on your line. And like this when I turn it on back here. It does makes this noise every time when you go fish. Looks like it won't make a noise now. But yeah. And put that back in there. <laughs> And here's the rest of the stuff I got in here. Wait, actually, here. Yeah, I'll just start out with this. Here's one of my tackle boxes that I like. Now this one got broke because I fell down when I was fishing under a bridge. And yeah, and this is my top water box. Now, I do have the River 2C 90, Whopper Popper 90, right here, blue color, and I got a Berkeley Choppa 90 in there, and I got a Berkeley Spin Bomb in there too, and I got a Scum Frog Tournament Series, and also, I forgot what this is called, it's from somewhere, I don't know, but it's a Field Mouse Top Bar Bait, Life Target, yeah, that's what it was. Here's a strike king perch. <clears throat> I mean, that's okay, babe, but eh. Here's a booyah toad runner that I like. And a Guggen, and a Guggen squad filthy frog. And here's a lunker hunt frog. This one's a good little frog. I had a bass. I had a big bass come jump at it. But it came off as soon as I got it worked out of the bank. And yeah, and here's some walking baits. I don't think this one's really a walking bait or not, but I don't know. Here's another Berkeley hijacker. And down here's a Google Squad Hound. And right here's a Storm Chug Bug. I like, too. And here's a Head On Czar Spook and a Head On Czar Puppy. Now that'd probably be good for creek fishing and stuff, for like smallmouth and bass or anything. So yeah. And here's a Head On, uh, I forgot what this is called. It, it probably it says it on there. Hold on. I'll do it. That. It's a popping image. It's called a head-on popping image. And this one's a rebel popper, and that one's a Ozark trail popper. So, yeah. Only oh, that one. Oh, yeah, and by the way, in here is some high tech swim baits and bobbers that I also got. Some big ones, probably about four four eighth inch I think this bobber won't keep on coming out there okay I'm just gonna leave it like that and here's a tackle box that I got I keep my catfish hooks my panfish hooks and my bass hooks in here I can get it open Now this is my terabyte section section. I got some oh I got some little cherubates and I got some weedless jigs also in here. Uh a Guggen Squad Hero jig I think. Hero swim jig. Here's my bass hooks, catfish catfish hooks. Actually, no, that's my catfish and my panfish hooks. I forgot I changed it. And here's my swim baits in here. I got a classic roadrunner in here. And I got a Mary G roadrunner. And I got some of these storm swim baits. I usually use these a lot in ponds and lakes because these are really good for me. And here's some sinkers, bullet weights, egg sinkers. Like, here's an egg sinker. Right there. And here's a another one on my tackle bait on my tackle box. Here's some more soft plastics. Like here's a Berkeley Fusion 19. Hold on a second.
Sorry about that. Here's a swim bait I got from Kitek. That's a, like a 4 8 inch. It's got a nice to it. And there's a Rocky Rig jig head, which I think it'd still be good with this one. This is from Berkeley Power Bait. I forgot what it's called. And yeah, just thought myself plastics right there. And here's the last one. Well, the last one in here. I still got little tackle boxes left. Now these are my crankbaits and jerkbaits and limpless crankbaits. Now here's I got now here I got some little rebel crawl crawl dad crankbaits, and I got a Guggen Squad crank square bill crankbait. And there's a here's a um, oh it's from a I think an off brand I don't know. But yeah, and there's a lipless crank. Here's some lipless crankbaits, and more lipless crankbaits, and jerk baits. Uh, I call it X wrap. And here's a actually I like this one. It's a Berkeley, not a Berkeley. It's a striking wake bait, and yeah, it doesn't really go in the water that much. It goes like that, but it doesn't go down that much. And here's a Roshi. Saw so I got another one, but this one go about five feet and shallower. This one's a five one. The other one I had is the third one. Oh yeah, about this one. Here's a storm wiggle wart striking silent crankbait. Here's a Rapala crankbait, and that's a really cool looking one. I think none's better than that biggest one I showed. So yeah. Well, I'll only have a couple more to go, and then I'll be done. Sorry if this video is real long for you all, but, yeah. Okay. Uh, here's the end of it. Or not, here's the end of it. Here's some... Little tackle boxes, my tiny jerk baits, my tiny crank baits, and here's for my trout box kind of, or my creek box and another creek box. Got a striking mini pro buzz bait in there, some mountain grass hula poppers that are real small, and actually below that one is a rebel cr cricket hopper and a rapala popper. Here's some cream and rapala with crank baits and some rapala strike king and some cream, the smallest one I got in there is a cream crankbait and the Ozark Trail deep crankbait, deep tiny crankbait, micro crankbait, or whatever. And here's some cream jerkbaits and a Con Cordell crankbait. And so, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe, and share, and see you later. Bye.